Salem Circle Church of Christ. Sorry for the moment. I'm just trying to get everything laid out for service today. I know we have fellowship afterwards. So be short, brief. No brother folks, be short. It ain't gonna be long. Right. But I'm gonna make it short and brief and to the point and direct. Part two, you are you battle worthy to contend? And uh, defend and fight for the faith. Pretty powerful message last week. Wish it could have been on record. We only got the last seven minutes of that video of it last week. Real good message. I missed a real great message. But the Lord knows and we're going to continue to serve our, our, our Father above. Thank Jesus for dying for us, the sins of the whole world. Our first song is uh, <coughs> Rizal. It'll be the first song. Opening prayer will be done by Brother Gibbons, the cook today. Amen. All right. <laughs> and uh, all those things, that's the word, the middles they have in the store. Um, I want to thank everyone uh, for this week. And I mean, this, the preacher man been kind of hurt this week, but hey, God has made me he come through. No matter how hard the situation may be, God is always able to carry us through through prayers, our, our prayers and the prayers of the righteous that have it much. The pain of the body that goes through, you know. That's why the inward man has to be renewed day by day. Day by day. And continue to keep me in prayer. As we always pray for other things, but we gotta keep each other prayed and stayed up in, in the Lord. Continue to do his blessed will to the end. The Lord hears the prayers of the righteous and his, his ears are open to their prayers. And that's what we need to do and continue to think on those things and meditate on those things. Let's go into our service. I'm, I'll go ahead and open service. I know Brother Gibbons is still tied up to uh, start the service uh, this morning. And, uh, oh, Brother Gibbons? Yes. One second. Father, in prayer, dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Father God, so very thankful, Father God, for uh, this joyous occasion, Father God, that we gather, Father God, to worship man in spirit and truth. Uh, we ask that the things that are said here today, Father God, be edified and uplifting, Father God. Uh, we pray that everyone receives it for it, Father God, that all ears be attentive, Father God, our hearts be satisfied. As, um, and the things that are said as the, the man is going to come before us and bring our lesson, Brother Pope. Father, we ask you just be with him as a chosen vessel, Father God, to speak the very oracles of your word uh, without addition or subtraction. We pray that you just continue to be with us uh, in spirit and truth. We pray that you just bless each and every one of our lives, Father God, for the many things that we've endured, uh, whether it be in our minds, our bodies, Father God, uh, illnesses, Father God, and financial burdens. Uh, we want to just lift up your name, Father God, and give you all the glory, Father God, from already blessing us through those blessed trials, Father God, and tribulations to make us stronger. Uh, as we continue to go after the service, Father, we pray that you just be with us, comfort us in spirit and truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen. First song 948, I am resolved. We'll sing uh, verses 1, 2, and 4. I 
sin and strife. He is the true one. He is the just one. He had the words of life. I will hasten to him, hasten so glad and free. Jesus, greatest, highest, I will come to thee. I am resolved to enter the kingdom, leaving the path of sin. He says, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. And the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearers and doers of his word this morning. And hope that this has been edifying and uplifting in the Lord. And we do his will and stay faithful to the end. Amen. Amen. Praise God. As we go to the next song, I gave my life for thee. Three, five, four. I just died of brain. <laughs> <laughs> Pro. Oh, man. Might be a change. Yeah. Let's switch it up. I don't know why it just left me. It just left me. Okay, we'll change the page too, man. I don't know why it just left my mind. That's not old age, though. <coughs>
time is filled with swift transition. Not a earth on who can stand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Hold to God's unchanging hand. You gotta hold to God's unchanging hand. You gotta hold. text information. Guard what is true. Guard what is true. And the Bible reads, he says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouth must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy Lucas' sake. Mm -hmm. One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said, the satyrians are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. They, this witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. But giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that Turn from the truth unto the pure all to unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled uh, and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled. He said they profess that they know God, but in the works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient. And unto every good work, reprobate. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearers and believers of this morning and believers to the end of the word of God from the Holy Ring. Amen. Amen. We continue Amen. to service this morning. Now we have the order of service, the praying and making our requests be known unto God this morning. As always, as we do at this time of service. As we gather all the things of the week and of the day of people that are sick and shut in and people that need prayer and people of the Lord that needs prayer and to be uplifted in the Lord and 
for the Lord to uh, raise them up again when they have fallen down. Um, I want to ask for prayer, continue prayers for Sister Georgia Johnson. I spoke with her on yesterday, and um, she is in a rehab right now, expecting to come home at the end of the week and then have continued care from there. Um, but she's just asking for the prayers of the saints. And then uh, I also want to ask for prayers for my mom. Um, earlier this week, she fell down and fractured her collarbone. She's in her 70s. And, um, but, and she also um, tore her meniscus yeah, her in the leg. But, um, but please pray for my mom that she can be here. Amen. So just uh, keep the giving families in your prayers for the many things that we have up before the Lord. He's truly been good to us. Uh, we just have some small requests. Um, uh, my brother-in-law who was uh, in uh, Japan. Is it Japan, babe? Mm -hmm. Japan. Um, we ask the Lord to protect him uh, as he's um, serving our country. Um, just our children, uh, a safe uh, haven when they're at schools. Uh, it's a wicked world. Uh, there's many things going on in the schools. Um, so mm -hmm. we ask a covering for all of the children um, when they go to schools and to be protected by God's uh, own. Also, uh, each and every one of the saints that's here, uh, we continue to do God's best of will that we have a mind um, that's stayed on Christ uh, that way. And we see each other that way we see Christ in each other. Amen. There's always obstacles and distractions and things of that nature that's pertaining to this life. But mm -hmm. we just continue to strive for that mark of perfection. So we do stumble at times, but we got to pick ourselves back up and mm -hmm. keep on fighting. Uh, my brothers, uh, one of them, uh, Kurt, he, his job situation, uh, Last day of the 29th. So he'll be seeking employment somewhere else. God knows that situation. Uh, and, you know, pray for his family, uh, his wife, and his children, and for my other brothers. Griffin. I always try to be mindful of him because he's the wild one. Understanding of certain things is, is it's not. Uh, it's like he knows better, but yet still, you know, he's pulled in certain directions. But just pray that you know it comes to his senses before it's everlasting too late. Uh, and just continue to pray for our brotherhood worldwide. Uh, again, we know what we're up against. We know who the enemy and adversary. each other in prayer, keep, keep encouraging and admonishing one another, be unified, be a united front across the board, because again, like I said, this is, this world is getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm.
Good to see you here, young man. Good to see you back again. Thank you, King God. Let's go to our Heavenly Father and pray for the list of things that need to be prayed for. Stay for Christ. Father God, we come to your throne of mercy and grace once again. Yes, Father. Father, you know in the petition before it being brought to the table for you, Father. Because we cast our burdens upon the Lord, and we know that the Lord will carry us through all situations and matters. Because God is on the scene on all people. There's nothing too hard for him. Father, I'd like to go down the list of prayer for this morning. Sister Johnson's uh, mother fractured collarbone. I want you to touch her, Father, and be able to heal her. That she can get up and be able to do and move greatly in her age that she is, Father. Give her more extended life and the plan of, of, of life itself. Even in the end, have eternal life itself. Father, I want you to pray for Georgia Johnson as well and her, her matters of things that's going on in her life and her body and her situation. Just to pray for her that, Father, you, you, you help her to be strong and be of good carriage and continue to walk and do no matter how hard our situation may do, get. Mm -hmm. Father, we know that you're on the scene on all things to help us and guide us through all matters of situations. And Father, I, I take the table, turn the table over to the Gibbons family. Father, I want you to watch over the Gibbons family as their kids go back to school and focus on, the, on their books and their studies and that they stay out of harm's way and harm that not come to them or no danger at all. Father, continue to keep a cage around them and that they be able to study and to show their self-approved in, in the workbooks of, of the physical school and continue to listen to the words of God to be able to have the information of God in the home, Father. Father, uh, also uh, I want to pray for the brother-in-law uh, that's in Japan and serving as, as a member of this armed service. Father, we all need a, a, a family of prayer for those things, for all soldiers and and, and servicemen that are in the service and service ladies, Father, um, that they stay out of harm's way as well and no harm come to them or no danger. Father, uh, just continue to help the leaders uh, of the services, the commander in chief, make the right decisions mm -hmm. so they won't be in harm's way at all or no life be taken at all, Father. Just that let everything be peaceful and be peaceful with all men, Father. And Father, just keep them protected throughout his times of service. And maybe my daughter as well, she's in the armed service as well, to keep them protected and guided. And if they continue to focus on Christ and come to Christ before it's everlasting too late. So it won't be at the end, you know, I never knew you, Father. But Father, we want them to know you and, and not have the words being said, I never knew you. Father, I want to continue to pray for the Sanders family, their daughter that's in the military as well. And California and, and their kids is here in the, in the Mesquite, Texas area, that they kids will stay out of harm's way as well and no danger of things come to them, that, that they come and serve as well, Lord, Almighty, and, and, and not serve the world. Come out of the world and come into the marvelous light of Christ and stay in the light as, as you ought to be in the light. As the Father above shines his light, we must be shining our light so that people see us and see the lights that so shine in us. Father, uh, continue to bless that home, their, his wife, and, and, and the things that she do, a hard-working lady and her job, and him being a hard man going out and working every day to provide for the home, have things on the table to be able to live and be able to make it in this here rough and tough world we live in, Father. And Father, I want to continue to pray for his brother, uh, Brother Kurt. Uh, I know he's difficult times of job and seeking job. But Father, we, we know that you, you have a will and you have a way. And you'll be able to make the way for him to have a better job in the time frame, Father. Father, let him not weary, put, put all his burdens upon the Lord, and the Lord will carry him through. Make, make sure he's protected. He's, he's a person of the body and, and, and body church, Father. And you, you'll be able to help him part of the body and, and be able to keep him grounded and founded in Christ. And, Father, you'll be able to provide for him when when, when things go down, it, it'll go back uphill for Christ because of Christ's sake. He'll, he'll be able to put the things on the table that, that we're missing 
back on the table again, and he'll get, get things even more better in the situation, even when Job lost everything. He was able to get more and an increase of more things even better in life. Father, I want to pray for his brother Clifton. Clifton uh, might have strayed away from the faith, and we need to just continue to pray for him mm -hmm. and his family that they get everything grounded and founded in Christ, that he come back from the dark world and come back to the marvelous light of Christ, Father. And Father, I just want to just continue to pray for the brotherhood, the brotherhood of just teaching something different than what Christ said. But Father, we must obey God rather than man. Yes. And Father, let them know that God is in control and we're all up under Jesus' feet. That we all must be in a dress right dress. And we all must be a soldier in Christ. And we must continue to contend and fight for the faith. When there's a rough and tough world, we as the faith has to tell the people about faith. But if we're not walking in the faith, how can we teach the faith? Mm -hmm. Father, help them not wrestle with the principalities of this whole world and the things that are going on in this whole world. Focus on the Lord and cast all the burdens upon the Lord, and the Lord will carry us all through, no matter how hard our situation. Jesus is on the sand with all things. And I say this prayer with all the love in my heart, mind, body, and soul. Have a Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, I do say Amen. Amen. And as we continue on in this service this morning, there's a fountain free. Page 909. 909. There's a fountain free. There's a fountain free, tis for you and me. Let us taste, oh, haste to its brink. Tis the fount of love from the source above, and he bids us all freely drink. Oh, will you come to the fountain free? Will you come? Tis for you. Oh, oh, hear the welcome call, tis the fountain open for all. There's a living stream with the crystal gleam, from the throne of life now it flows. Oh, while the waters roll, let the weary soul hear the call that forth freely goes. Oh, will you come to the fountain free? Will you come? Tis for you and me, thirsty soul. Oh, hear the welcome call. Tis the fountain open for all. There's a rock that's cleft and no soul is left that may not its pure water share. Tis for you and me and the stream I see. Let us haste and joyfully there. Oh, will you come to the fountain free? Will you come? Tis for you and me, thirsty soul. Oh, hear the welcome call. Tis a fountain open for all. Reading from Luke 22 and 14. 22, <laughs> the Lord's Supper. 
and the hour was come, he sat down, and the twelve apostles with him. And he said unto them, with desire, I have desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. He took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the, of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And he took the bread and gave thanks and break it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do remembrance of me. Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayed me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man goeth in as I determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And they began to inquire among themselves which of them it was that should do this thing. Amen. We thank the Lord. So. Amen. <laughs> Let's look to the Lord for the blessing of the bridge which we take as representation of his body also. The cup, the fruit of the vine that represents his blood. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you, Father God. We ask you, Father God, that you examine us, Father God. Father God, if there be any clean thoughts, Father, any unclean thoughts in our minds, Father God, and hearts and body, Father, we ask you to be with us as we partake of this bread, Father God, that represents your body, Father God, which was laid on a rugged cross, nailed, Father God, pierced and died. Father, we truly thank you for your sacrifice, Father God, for nothing could be sacrificed more than your precious Son. The holy lamb of you father and we thank you for his precious death father god that he died father god and was rose again father god never to die no more but to live eternally father god and those who partake of your body father god and carry out your blessed will may have that same father god may have that same awakening father in life ever after we ask that you just bless us father god uh, we ask you bless this cup father god which represents your blood that was shared for the sins of the world, Father God, those who have a mind, who have the will, Father God, to carry out your word, Father, we ask you just bless them as they partake of this cup, Father God, we ask you bless the brotherhood, Father God, who may have stumbled, we ask you to continue to be with us, Father, in Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 